Hello stamping friends, I'm Carol. Welcome to my creating corner. I'm glad you found me. Click subscribe so you can visit again. Today I'm playing with the Still Scenes bundle from the Stampin' Up! 2019 Fall Holiday Catalog. The Still Scenes set allows you to create the snow globe look for your general cards with the ornate base, the snow globe, precious little cottage to put inside, little stars to twinkle above, and two nice greetings to go along with it. The stamp set is available individually or with the snow globe scenes die set. Now this does come as a bundle and you can save 10% when ordered as such. Look at all the dies that comes in this set. What a selection. Today I'll be using the deer, the ornate base, the base framelit, the globe framelit, and the trees. Let's get these out of the way. I'm also going to be using the woodland folder right here. Okay. And all these come together to make this amazing snow globe card. Isn't this the neatest card? Yes, this is a real water-filled snow globe card. Stampin' Up! makes it so easy to create the most amazing greetings. I know you want to see how to do this in your home, so let's get started. I'll put all the measurements below, but just to give you a hint, I have two pieces of the Whisper White cut at five and a quarter by four, and I already have one in the embossing folder. I have a scrap of Mossy Meadow. I have some gold foil, it's about three by two, and some copper foil that's about five by two. I have a soft suede card base that's 11 by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and this brand new snow dome shaker isn't it was well, a shaker dome <laughs> sorry i love it i love it and of course a piece of acetate to cover the back the acetate is about three and a half by four all right to start out with let me get all these aside start out with, we're going to emboss the front panel of the card. Let me get my machine up here. Okay. And of course we make our little sandwich bottom plate, embossing folder with the cardstock in it, top plate. Run it through. Now, don't put your cutting machine completely away because we are going to be using it again in just a moment. Okay. Look, isn't that beautiful? Let's add some color to it. I've got Night of Navy and Soft Suede and some little sponge daubers. Using the sponge dauber, we're going to lightly accent the trees, kind of pull it out. It's okay if you get it in between the trees, you're just adding a little bit of shadow, like so. And then with the Knight of Navy, you're going to come in between and if you get it on the tree branches that's all right you're just adding some shadow and depth basically I'm not going to do the entire card front I've already done one but once you get everything colored up if you want to go back and use your stamp and write marker to accent some of your trees, you can. Of course, we're going to close our ink so we don't make a mess. 
once you have it completely done, you're going to take your die shape, you're going to determine where you want to place it. You might want to go ahead and use a base die to help make sure that you don't put it down too far. I think that's about right. So that is where you would cut your opening. Now I've already done that. So, voila, there you go. We're going to set this aside for just a moment. Okay. Let's take our, um, no. Let's go ahead and cut the bases. We're going to take both of these shapes, both of your base shapes, we're going to cut them out of your copper foil. While you're running that through, you're going to also cut your deer. And if you have room, add in your trees on your mossy meadow. Saves a little bit of time when you can do them all together at the same time. Alright, let me get that done right away. And I'm back. Now I like how this gives some nice dimension when you layer them up. Now the best way that you can do, you, well there's several ways you can adhere it. You can use your fine tip glue pen, you can use some um, multi-purpose adhesive sheet before you do it, or you can just take some white glue and a sponge and lightly sponge just a little bit of glue on the back of your ornate piece. Just a little bit is all you need. And touch. There we go. Yeah. Gives it such pretty detailing. So, let's go ahead and take our embossed panel front, let's get some liquid glue, put it on the back of the piece that's been cut out, just a little bit there. We're going to put our embossed panel on the front here, make sure it's right where we want it. Going to put this in the opening and remove your panel. There we go. Now it should be perfectly lined up. And it is. Let's take your trees. A little bit of liquid glue on the back of the tree. It. Now you don't want to use dimensionals because this dome is going to be flat on top. If you wanted to make this a shaker card, you could use the dimensionals if you want. But if you're planning on doing the water-filled snow globe, just put it flat. How to get water. You're going to take either some tweezers or your take a pick tool. You're going to tease up the edge your adhe of this ad adhesion protectant. 
You're not going to remove it yet. You're just going to loosen it all the way around. While we're adding our water, we do want it to be covered. And then we carefully put some water in there. You are going to end up with an air bubble. Don't worry about it. Did spill a little bit of water. I would recommend you do this at your kitchen sink. Not done until this very moment. Okay. Now it looks pretty filled. I'm going to grab my aqua painter. Just just a little. Oh no. I think that's filled enough because I forgot to add the glitter. I'm going to put in just the tiniest pinch of ultra fine glitter. Just the tiniest pinch. Just to add a little sparkle to the card. And then Stampin' Up! has these snowflake sequins. snowflake sequins to it. There we go. Now, here's the trick. Get this adhesive cover off without spilling the water. completely adhered so that it doesn't leak. There's your snow globe portion. Yay! Okay. Now what we'll do line it up. You see I went a little high with it. So I'm going to trim that off. stability while I'm working with it. Oops. Now notice this is not attached to my card base yet. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. 
Oh, that's just so pretty. Okay, before we put the card front together, and those sequins will eventually sink. Now, before we attach the front to the card base, let's do the inside panel. Take your other five and a quarter by four inch panel and we're going to take our sentiment I'm using Seasons Greetings and hit this with a little bit of embossing buddy just to break the static I'm going to line it up make sure that the card itself is straight using some Versamark going to stamp my greeting, Season's Greetings. Now before I emboss it, I always make sure to shut the Versamark so I don't get embossing powder on it. Grab my embossing powder. step I want to do, and I do want to do the panel before I attach it inside the card base, just in case there's a little oops. Nothing is more disappointing than to create a beautiful card front and then have an oops when you're doing the inside. So I've got it embossed with Season's Greetings, and now in the soft suede, I'm going to put the little cottage. Notice I'm not pressing into the ink pad. I'm just tapping. Let me tap it off. Okay, my stamp is completely inked. Tap, tap, tap to re-ink it. And right in the corner. Straight down, no wiggling. Lift up and there we have the inside all ready to go. Okay, let's finish the outside. This is strong enough. This liquid glue really is strong enough. We're just going to put some liquid glue on my card front. Make sure you don't go over the opening because you're seeing through the opening. Place it straight over. the good part of the wet glue. You have just a minute to kind of make sure it's in the right spot. Everything's straight. Lovely. Now, we'll take our base. We'll grab some dimensionals. Put some dimensionals on the back. too close to the edge. Let's just get it. difficult to put 
sometimes these get a little finicky to pull off. So I'm glad to have my tight fit tool. Yeah. Now, I like to use tweezers. Carefully bump it up to the bottom. Make sure you have it lined up right. And there you go. Oh, isn't that just so beautiful? I think it's so beautiful. All right. Let's attach our embossed and stamped panel on the inside. Again, a little bit of wet glue. ready to go to make someone's day. I just love it. I just love it. This card is just the glitter. I used a little bit more glitter. This one has the snowflake sequins. They're just beautiful. So thank you for joining me as I made this fun snow globe card. If you like this, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and I hope you enjoy making many to share your love and creativity. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demo, please visit me at creatingwithcarol, that's C-A-R-O-L-E, dot stampinup.net. I would appreciate the opportunity to help you. Also, visit me on Facebook at Made With Love. Let's get to know each other. Until then, let's keep making the world a beautiful place. Bye!